Ah, the zombies are sitting around a fire. Now, biomass is essentially plants, and you can get energy from biomass in three different ways. The first way is by burning the stuff, combustion. That can be done on a small scale, like a little fire here, or on a large scale. You can have a power station that runs on, for example, wood chips or elephant grass, grass grown specifically to be burnt and have energy released to produce electricity. Uh, in the developing world, they use dung, animal dung, uh, and that provides energy for cooking. Secondly, well, this is a huge dump here, a huge landfill, but they're generating energy from it. Now, how would you do that? Well, if you notice, there is a pipe, and that pipe is draining the biogas, which is essentially methane, and is used to power a generator. So that is anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic bacteria metabolize the waste and form methane. The third way is fermentation, which is making alcohol from plants. You just need a, what, a plant and some yeast, and you'll make flammable alcohols. Ah, that's what Dr. Atkinson was looking for, his seven. Looking at the pros and cons, according to the IB, and my brain, well, they're all low carbon footprint fuel sources. They're widely distributed. Uh, all over the planet, pretty much all of these are available to be used. They're low tech, so not much investment needed to get it going. To burn a lump of poo doesn't need any money, I suppose. And they are also uh, not using stored carbon from the fossil fuels. Now that's good. We want to keep that carbon stored under the ground. And geopolitically, do you really want to be buying oil from, well, potentially your enemies? Looking specifically at the pros of biogas. Well, methane produced by anaerobic respiration. Methane is a very potent greenhouse gas, much more so than carbon dioxide. So it's much better to burn that gas and turn it into carbon dioxide than just release the methane, which is much more potent. That will heat the planet up quicker. And finally, fermentation, the pro of that, is that it may reduce landfill. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, instead of throwing rotten fruit or, or unused pieces of corn into landfill, you can actually ferment it and make alcohol. The cons of biofuels, well, they're quite often locally polluting, especially, well, mainly the combustion. If you're going to be burning dried poo or, uh, or trees, there's going to be lots of smoke, and that's going to cause air pollution, respiratory problems, things like that. The other con of biofuels is, well, you're turning food into fuel. What if people wanted to eat that food? And famously, Mexico's tortilla shortage, 2008, was caused by, well, biofuels. People were turning corn into fuel instead of food, and food prices went up and caused a lot of hardship for those in the, the developing world. Oh, I forgot to say renewable, renewable. Pros of biofuels renewable. And we're done.